What happened when I took my own advice? While I was writing my latest book, Bust Out of Service Fatigue, I stumbled across something interesting after developing the chapter called Invest in Rest. Want to know what I discovered? I realized I wasn't walking my talk. Rest isn't just about sleeping enough or putting your feet up with a cup of hot tea. Rest is about taking a break from the things that break you. And what tends to break my energy, my motivation, and my enthusiasm is a twin pack of behaviors, frequently viewing on social media and a calendar too full of yeses. Maybe you can relate. So after the book was done and I needed to take some of my own advice, I tried something different. On January 1, my husband Tom and I officially became snowbirds. We picked a good year to do it because at home in Illinois, the temperature dropped to minus 10 degrees with a minus 40 degree wind chill while we were gone. Yikes. But during that time, I was working, but doing it remotely in Florida. Now, I realize not everyone has a job that allows them to work virtually. However, the emphasis that I want to share with you today is on the two actions I stopped doing this month that can be done anywhere, anytime, by any one of you. First, I limited my social media viewing to hobby-related posts only, more on that at the end, and I kept my phone buried most of the time, choosing instead to enjoy the activities around me instead of looking to see what everyone else was up to. You see, scroll and envy is how many of us get bogged down in a self-inflicted negative headspace. Why? Give it a rest. Secondly, each morning I did my client business or things that kept my business on track, but I worked hard to empty the calendar by 12 p.m. This type of segmented break can also be used in the workplace too. Years ago, when I was managing a department of people, I implemented a rule that worked very well. Every afternoon we had quiet hour from 2 to 3 p.m. And that meant that no one on staff made outgoing calls, appointments or meetings, and no interruptions from fellow staff members. You know, the ones who show up in your doorway and say, have you got a sec? And it never takes just a sec. We limited all that. Believe it or not, this is a form of rest. We were taking a break from a crowded calendar and the fatigue of the constant interruptions in the doorways, but we were still servicing any incoming calls or needs from our customers. As my month of hiding from snow comes to an end, I feel revived, more focused, and ready to jump back into my normal workflow when I return to my office. Yes, I feel rested, but not because I got away, more importantly, because I took my own advice with specific actions to prioritize time to reset and recharge. Control the scroll and the calendar. These two simple actions can be the easiest steps to busting out of service fatigue if rest is where you're coming up short. I'd love to hear what you've been up to to invest in rest that goes beyond napping. Oh, and those hobbies that I'm into, I get a lot of questions about that along the way. Well, I'm focused on vintage collectibles, flipping furniture, and learning to play Mahjong. More on that next time.